this year marked the 75th anniversary of the Gage One Model Railway Association, or GIMRA for short, and the North West Group hosted their annual event at the Padium Unitarian Church in November. Gauge 1 uses a track gauge of 1 and 3 quarter inches or 45 millimetres and compared to the other gauges such as double O gauge and O gauge the locomotives are much larger and run on either steam, gas power or are battery operated. The Withnell Junction layout at Padium was put together by the North West Group and can be assembled in just an hour. The group transport the layout to various exhibitions and shows throughout the year. Gage 1 locomotives are mostly scratch built and built from brass, steel and use precision engineering. 
More recently, the use of 3D printing technology is being used to produce some of the models, as Malcolm Mills explains. I build them for a living. That's my um, that's the leaflet. Some are built in metal, as that one is. All the chassis are steel. So you've got that one that's um, you know built in in the metal itself. This one I make a, a mould for it. And it's injection moulding. That's the A4. You see the undercutting there very briefly. And obviously an undercutting for the cab itself. So they're all, you know, they're all for sale in the same um, full-time, full-time job. So that's, that's the A4, and, and then these are these are 3D printed. So I'll make a CAD computer-assisted drawing, and um, the CAD then goes into the computer and changes a 2D drawing into, into 3D and that's all uh, Have you three... got the facilities to print them at all? No, no, I'll... It, machines like this would be £50,000 to print it uh, so it's cheaper to get a subcontractor right. and a, to print it and a subcontractor to draw it, to draw the files called STL files um, which can then be fed into the computer but all the chassis I can make, and they're all they're all steel, and I can, I can airbrush, and I can line. So this is the future, you know. And how long would it take to make one of those complete? How long in how well, man hours? Six months if you did it with a a hammer and a, a chisel and made it. But this, they can, they can print these in about three days. The machines run overnight, 24/7. A lot of them are made in um, Eindhoven, in um, Holland, but we've got them pretty well now in, uh, in, in England as well. So that could take me a couple of months to, 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 to do all that, but all that work's done, that's the beauty of it now. This is the future of models. Or a brandy. Very well engineered loco, it's all hardened steel and everything. Really? And it came back to the UK in the 1950s. And I Most of the engines run on steam powered using methylated or bioethanol spirit, but some run on gas. The ultimate challenge is coal firing using anthracite grains. Control of the trains is via radio control. Uh -oh. 
Josh, you ready?